All right, well, the uh, first leg of my uh, morning journey is, is here. Unfortunately, it's actually kind of cool and wet, you know, and I was hoping to get my, my gi dried out, but apparently that's not going to happen. So right now I'm just going to recharge because I'm not going to have time to do it later and I'm not going to want to do it later. I've got my little OBD2 adapter. So I finally got the logging codes. I finally got the logging codes done. So, uh, yeah. light on. Uh, so I, I'll be able to, uh, sorry about that. I'll be able to start actually logging how, uh, how the charge cycle's working. And hopefully, um, Hopefully I can convince Evie Go that they can't that they'll uh, maybe they'll let me use their their new 150 kilowatt charger, you know, for testing purposes. So, but right now I'm just I think going to do a half hour on here. That should be more than enough for what I need. Um, actually. Hopefully I gave myself enough room. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to be busy otherwise. Aha. And, all right, here we go. Let's see. So it says I'm at 20%. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start logging and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, well, the charge stopped so we can go see what damage is done. This should be, this 136 miles of estimated range should give me the range I need to get, you know, back to another fast charger later. I mean, I'll be occupied in the meantime, but this is about as much time as I wanna spend here charging. So, yeah, and it looks like it brought me right up to 55%. So, yeah, 22.5 um, kilowatt hours delivered in 30 minutes. So, you know, basically that, that is that max, uh, that is that max 45 kilowatt rate that you can expect out of a 125 um, amp charger. So, um you know, just another data point. My, unfortunately, it looks like my uh, my OBD2 adapter isn't working properly, so I might need to find a replacement. But otherwise, yeah, it's uh, uh, good stuff.